Hey everyone, welcome to my 111th video. That is so funny. I just thought that it was like a really funny thing to do a question and answer video on. So I got a bunch of questions that I'm going to now answer for you. Would you believe that that is the point of a question and answer video? So I will just, I'll just go, I'll just, I'll just say them. What is your favorite sport? What is going on with this? My favorite sport to watch is definitely tennis. Every single time the Australian opens on, um, I just devote my life to watching that. And probably my favorite player is Milos Raonic. I like him and also um, the Williams sisters, obviously, because they're just goddesses. What is your favorite color? My favorite color is pink. What is your favorite song? Oh my gosh. Honestly, I listen to Never Let Me Go by Florence and the Machine like on repeat. I love that song, but I love way too many songs to say any that would be my favorite, but that's just the first one that popped into my head. What is my favorite book? Um, I'm gonna exclude Harry Potter from this because that's like everyone's favorite book and I'm gonna say Isla and Happily Ever After. It is a magical book. Every time I read it, I give it five stars. I love it so much. There's just something about that book that really resonates within me. What is your favorite app? My favorite app is probably Facebook. Like I'm very funny on Facebook for people who know me in real life, you know, so that's just that. <laughs> what is your favorite day of the weekend? Um, the weekend is usually a pretty crazy time for me. If you guys didn't know already, my husband is a chef, so he doesn't have traditional weekends. His weekend is usually Wednesday and Thursday. So the weekend can be pretty full on. My daughter is obviously not in care and she goes to daycare a couple of days a week. And then the weekend she's sort of just like, you know, all on top of me and same with my son and that's fine you know I mean they love their mom that's great um so the weekend isn't exactly a very relaxing time it's more a time where it's sort of like I'm still doing things and I'm entertaining children but I would probably say Saturday is my favorite day of the weekend just because there's something that's like there's a little bit of melancholy about Sunday do you know what I mean like there's like a sadness that sort of settles over you on a Sunday I remember being younger and you just feel so alone on a Sunday <laughs> and it's like this conversation is like if you could pick one talent you wished you had but you weren't blessed with what would it be I think that like I don't think that it's necessarily a bad thing but maybe holding my tongue like I'm very honest I don't like any sort of lies or anything like that I think that probably being a little bit more tactful <laughs> would be a talent that I'd really like and um yeah like my husband always says that my honesty could strip paint so Maybe, <laughs> maybe just kind of being able to rein that in a little bit. What's the book that you've reread the most in your life? The book that I've probably reread the most in my life would be Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. And then after all of the Harry Potter again, it would be a book called Lone Bandits by Louise Alcott, which I've lost somewhere in my house. I just remember that being like a really good book and I probably read that like at least 10 times and I got it when I was about 11. It was just one of those stories that was really easy to follow. It's the first character that I remember loving. It doesn't even have to do with books. Like the first character that kind of comes to mind is Julie Gaffney from Mighty Ducks D2. That was my favorite movie. I loved it so much. And it's never stated in the movie, but like this is where my shipping began. And I swear that her and Dean Port and hooked up. He was one of the Bash brothers and I love Julie Gaffney because she was a girl and she was a goalkeeper and she was a kick butt. So that was the character that I first remember loving. Not a book character though, but still a character that I love. And to this day, I'm convinced that Julie Gaffney and Dean Portman had a thing at the Olympics. You can't tell me otherwise. If you could live as a character for one day, who would it be? Oh, this one. Well, the first character that just popped into my head then was Rose Hathaway from the Vampire Academy series. And that is crazy because she's like always in danger and her life is like really hectic. But I guess that that could kind of be cool just to like be able to appreciate my life that I have even more now. I mean, if I survived the day, but if I had her skills, no doubt I would survive. So I would just say Rose. Which book are you most looking forward to introducing Winter and Theo to when they're older? Harry Potter. I read to them now. I'm just gonna be excited when they can kind of read the books that I read at the moment, you know, especially Winter, because she's very inquisitive. Like when we watch television, she wants to have the captions on so she can learn to read. I mean, she's only four, she turns five in August and she's so eager to read just because it's what she sees me doing. So that's really cute. Um, I think that she's gonna be a massive bookworm too. Favorite book of 2017 so far. First book that kind of pops into my mind would be Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare. Um, I say this like every single time I talk about these books, but I don't really like Shadowhunters. Like I have read them all, you know, I'm kind of like, except I haven't read the Shadowhunter Academy one and the Magnus Bane books, but I've read all of like the main books. Um, so I've read the Mortal Instruments, the Infernal Devices, I own them all and stuff like that. But 
Lady Midnight for me was just like, it was what I needed to want to continue with the series. I mean, I love the new cast of characters and I love the setting. Like Cassandra Clare really does that. You're in the atmosphere, you're there with the characters. So I would say Lady Midnight just kind of pulling me back into it. I have Lord of Shadows ready to read, but like I can't like, because then the next book isn't out until 2019, which is just, oh my gosh. It's just too much for me to bear to even think about that. I actually did. I snuck and read the end of Lord of Shadows. So hold on to your knickers. That's all I have to say for people who haven't read it yet. <laughs> it's going to be bad. Favorite food. Um, I don't even know carbs. I just love carbs. What's your biggest guilty pleasure? Okay, this is like very, very specific. Okay, so my kids are asleep. And my husband would be working in the night so this is like my thing so I have a steaming hot bath like just like I'm talking like it's like gonna burn you you know like you're cooking yourself like a lobster in that bath and then it has like a ton of lavender oil in it because that's like my thing I'm always having lavender oil baths I always talk about that on Twitter like if you go through Twitter it's just like me like oh in a hot lavender bath so Twitter's down below if you want to check out all of those tweets and then I would like soak in there until I become a prune. I'd probably have my Kindle, but honestly, I'd probably be playing a game on my phone. And then I would get into bed and it would be like just dark and quiet and beautiful. And I'd just be like under a blanket and I'd smell like wonderful lavender. And then I'd just slowly drift off to sleep at like 8.30 at night. That would be ideal. I wouldn't even watch Netflix, wouldn't even read a book. I would just fall asleep smelling of lavender. My kills some pleasure, guys. Yeah, it's fun being 28 years old, let me tell you. Have you ever read a book that spookily mirrored your life? No, I wouldn't say so. I think that my life's actually been pretty crazy. I think that people would be really shocked to find out some of the events that have happened in my life. So I'm happy that I've never come across a book character who's been put through some of the stuff that I have. If you could live anywhere in the world, where would it be? I like the idea of sort of living in like the countryside, maybe in France or something like that. Um, I think that my husband would like that too because obviously like he's a chef and you know the produce and things like that so in a foreign country or like a small town anywhere in a small town would kind of excite me because I have always lived in big cities. Dream job. Like I'm gonna be really cheesy and say that I have my dream job. I'm a mum you know I stay at home and that's my thing. I love doing what I do like I've always wanted to be a mum and I'm so thankful every day, even when the kids are driving me up the fucking wall, I am happy to be their mom and I'm really blessed that I'm able to stay home and hold down the fort. If you could change your name, what would it be? I don't know, seriously. Like, my, I am named Michaela because my parents' names are Michelle and Michael. So it is very self-indulgent of them to call me Michaela. So like, I have no idea. Have you ever had Jello? Yes, I have had Jello. My friend Joe sent a big box of American stuff and in it was Jello. I think it was the strawberry flavor. And it's crazy sugary, guys. Like in Australia, we have this stuff called airplane jelly. And um, I'm sure like every Aussie kid's like singing, I like airplane jelly. Because that's like the jingle, it's just super cute. Um, so yeah, I've had the actual Jello and it's like, sugary what's my favorite meal to cook okay so i am like a crazy crazy cook like my husband will tell you um i basically just cremate food because i like i am terrified of food poisoning like in a past life i must have died from bad food because like if i cook you chicken like that chicken is like cooked like i people say it's burnt but i say it's like cajun um and one of the things that i cook really well that my husband loves is this chorizo pasta and then I just like burn the chorizo and like let all of the oil come out of it and then toss the pasta through so it's like the sauce for it and it has like Spanish onion through it and um, yeah my husband seems to like really like that so that's probably my favourite thing to cook because I get to set fire to it without anyone complaining about it. <laughs> I just have a few more questions now. My favourite Sailor Moon character and why? Um, Sailor Venus, she was always my favourite. A little known fact is that if my daughter Winter was born like two weeks later, I found this like person was named this on one of those like, you know, baby bump forums or whatever that I was on and they called their daughter Sailor. I loved that name so much. I was like, oh my gosh, if like we had named Winter Sailor, like that would have been the best name ever. And then Sailor was also our girl's name. Um, if there was a girl. Last book that you DNF'd. 
it's a busy week so the last book that I kind of half started reading was Lord of Shadows by Cassandra Clare it's not a DNF it's just I'm gonna come back to you later and the last question what is your latest TV addiction I am currently watching the 100 and also rain so I think that like they're very different shows obviously oh that's the other one American Gods is also my latest TV addiction love it really good Neil Gaiman I've been listening to the audiobook as that of that as well so yeah so all of the question guys I hope that you enjoyed this video everyone for being here for 111 videos on YouTube here's to 111 more maybe we'll do another question and answer oh my goodness gracious me see you in my next video guys lots of love hugs and kisses bye